I would say that people should be creative about how they want to communicate what they're passionate about, um, that they should use unusual methods. I think that if we are using only the radio and television and newspaper, then this is too small a space that they should consider using alternative approaches. School visits and presentations, competitions like I'm a scientist, live, exciting engagement events like, you know, conversing with astronauts in space, marvellous. Science fairs and exhibitions, of course, like ESOF. Citizen science, a real explosion of understanding now with technology, how we can legitimately engage with many members of the public in terms of uh, getting their data, getting more information out to them. Interactive online, explosion again here in terms of animations, infographics and so on. I put an advert on the train saying we are all made of stardust. Very simple, very short, but yet it's very rich in context. It connects to lots of areas of research, but it doesn't do so explicitly, and I think that's important. Witty one-liners that I had to uh, come up with, with colleagues and students, and, and indeed working with designers, were designed to spark conversation. And you see that none of these are related, uh, in an obvious sense, to extremely cutting-edge science, right? you have to delve a little deeper. And this is where blogging came into our, our story because each of these stories are linked to our website that we encourage people to visit on their commutes home and they could learn an awful lot more about witty statements like the moon is actually leaving us. A journalist rang me and said, should I be worried? Right, what a provocation. The most effective use of these channels is to create synergy across all of those channels decide what your core messages are, and learn how to actually present those core messages in a tailored way. Last year, we, we went from just the subway to right across the city of Dublin. And so we, we used um, a citywide campaign to spark yet more conversations about physics and a live projection of the sun. And it's, it's a research tool. It's, it's an ESA and NASA joint initiative. And what's the first thing that everyone said there? No one said, how does this matter to me? No one said, what's the end goal? No one said, is this relevant? Everyone said, it's beautiful. And that's what science is. Science is also beautiful. And it connected with people on that emotional level. And it sparked conversations. And so these sort of opportunities are wonderful uh, to, to uh, to get people thinking about science, to develop their own opinions about science, so that science becomes perhaps cultural as opposed to extra-cultural. It shouldn't be the and-also story in the news.